oh, to do the other thing. I'm recording it now. Uh, I'm not going to go and do the other one. I, everyone's using StreamYard. And I'm like, well, to do StreamYard, that's $10. Zoom is already almost 20. Mm -hmm. This is that. If you just add up all the costs every month that we're paying, it's a killer. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Well, let's let's get started then. Oh, okay. Let's get started and let's see if this will work. Video source is required. Okay, I'm looking. I think we are live. All right. Well, wonderful Friday, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the Tutoring Business Success Support Group. My name is Michael Gibbon, the founder of the group, and I have a very special guest with uh, me today. I have Brenda Brooks, the CEO of VLE Rock, Virtual Learning Educators Rock. And um, it, I, we had talked a few weeks ago and I looked at your website. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's such a wonderful array of resources for tutors, and educators. So I'd love to learn for a little more from you, Brenda, and I'm sure our audience would as well about how did VLE Rock come to be? What was the impetus for it? Well, I have uh, basically grew up in libraries. I loved libraries um, while other children were asking for uh, books. I mean, toys, I was actually asking for books and I love the Dewey Decimal System and organizing things and putting as many things uh, for everyone to find in one place. So I, I know there may be too much content and it continues to grow because besides just being um, part of this, uh, hold on a minute, I've got to go over to our, ours. Um, I'm also a creator, so I consistently create. So I'm the founder, I'm the CEO of this as well as I still tutor every day. I still create videos. I'm consistently updating my game. Oh, that's fantastic. Fantastic. And really important to continue to do that, right? As teachers, we want to evolve and grow and develop. Yes. And what I saw 20 years ago is just now coming to fruition in the class. Um, as soon as I saw smart boards, the technology hitting the classroom, and I'm like, my dream is to sit under a tree and teach just like Aristotle, but this time my dream is to reach everyone in the world, not just like he could only reach people in Greece. And it's actually coming. The only difference is, is I don't have a tree. It's a fake one. It's my cherry <laughs> blossom behind me, but I'm not outside. I'm in my office, but I do reach people daily around the world. And it's amazing. You're over in Canada. I'm over here in Bulgaria. Uh, and we actually see how small the world is, even when we're on the internet, how many times we are running into people over and over and over that are in the same thing that we're doing. Every company I had contracts with, other people followed. Uh, recently, I just found out we, me and another woman are from the same cities. I was just like, wow. And I was going to just show you the best way to explain the website is actually to kind of share it with you guys. So you guys kind of have an idea of what it is. So I opened it here. Perfect. Okay. And I wanted to tell everyone it works best on computers. Some functions will not work on the phone because this is a Google site. And I chose a Google site website because I can design it myself. I don't have to go back and forth to a designer and ask them to update and I can add and take away myself. So some of these do not work on mobile because it's a simple, simpler website. So if that's what you want to call it, it's a jumping out at you website. Um, so we have our pages, our support groups, and this is probably what you saw. And this we have the monthly visual library, uh, free contributors library, free resources, Brain Bank Central, video and training, games and directions, contacts, TPR, YouTube, and how to operate. Now, you've gone through this. What was probably something that stuck out for you? I think there was uh, actually there were two uh, sections in particular that I really felt were quite powerful. Uh, Brenda was the, uh, I think I love the motivation 
piece, the motivational wellness and balance connections. I, that was great to have that piece there. Yes. Um, and yes. also for your, for the piece as well, the um, <clears throat> free brain breaks. Cause I yeah. think we all, we need that little bit of break. And I think it, sometimes it can get overwhelming to try to figure out how to, how to recenter. It can be a little overwhelming for, for, for students. And it's great to be able to reach them and say, Hey, like, let's, let's recenter. And this is how we can do this. Let's take that brain break and, uh, and, and, and resurface from that. And, um, and also like just the free resources that you have, are, there's so many of them. Like I was looking at like right. I love brain and you know, PBS kids. These and- are just recommendations, but you're still missing the whole reason the whole website was started. Okay. What was the, what was your whole reason right here to share tons of resources at a, a very fast speed and not only of my own. We data mine groups that teachers are sharing. These are not for sale. The teachers do not have them for sale. And as teachers, we've united and we've we've taken technology to the the greatest um, speed. And uh, these are, this is a visual library. Every month I change the visual library and virtual visual virtual libraries. And what we do is we have our resources here and you just click the resources for our table of contents. And these are the table of contents and you can see what grade level it is for. And as you know, Halloween is coming up. So I'm showing you the October library. We have the authors. This is my own little Dewey Decimal system. The author, who does it fit with and what is the title? So you find something you like and you just like, oh, Halloween, (laughs) haunted house. I wanna play it with the kids. You get to the library and you can see it right in the middle. And what we're gonna do is we're going to open that library. Let me just make sure I'm sharing sound. I wasn't, so I will now, because I know this library, this haunted house has music. So Google Slides can actually be made with music and they can be downloaded as PowerPoint. This is the best thing about Google Slides. You can have your Google Slides and you can download it as the old fashioned PowerPoint. Not really old fashioned, they're up to date too, but it works with both. And the same thing, you can take PowerPoint and upload it. Oh, that is, that is so great. And like you said, it creates that community of, and you can use these resources. And, and you, you said on your site as well, like it's organized by not just okay. the author, of course, but I also have to the check that link. Grade, the subject. So what happens is when you press your links, they will bring you up exactly to that slideshow. It's not one slide, it's the entire slideshow, whatever the author offered. Well, this author here is an escape room and you have, like I'm clicking and I had to, there is the answers and questions to get through her escape room. If you made it through the escape room or not, and you can use the template, which will now save it on my drive. Some of them you don't need to save on your drive and I leave it just the way it is. I don't want to change anything that the, that she made or any of the teachers made. Now to do their escape room, I now have my own personal copy and I then will make it higher and see where the links lead. Now I can see where her links lead and I'm trying to get out of this room. <laughs> and she's like, she tells you like, keep looking around the room and they all can lead to songs, games, information. This is a scene. So we can't get out of that escape room till we watch that scene. And that and- is amazing. That's that's wonderful. And 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 what a great way to you know to engage students in learning and really and this wonderful community of resources is going to help make that possible to really engage students and and bring well, a, on a global scale. Exactly. And this is. You know, this is like, we got another one. We've got a haunted house and start. We can start it, I think maybe here, or maybe let's see. No. So some of the templates you have to use, some of them you can use. Now, again, what I'm saying is you have to click it and then it becomes on your drive, but you can preview all of them. They're all set in preview. Now this is your own. And then you can customize it to the way you want to customize the escape room. You can change the pictures. You can put yourself in there. Bitmojis are really cute because the kids look at them and they get so engaged with them and they think you're still there with them after. So to start, 
I'm clicking on the start and it'll tell me where, oh, I had to click the face. So, and you have to solve riddles to get out of there. And if you hit the wrong one, I am between one and 10. Okay. That's all of them. Yeah. I am more than two. Again, that's oh. all of them. But I'm less than five. We've eliminated two. A chair has the same number of legs as me. What am I? I'll say number three, but we know it's number four. No, not quite. Try again. And then you have to go back. So. Oh, that's fan. Yeah, that's that's great. And and um, and I guess as well. So do you find like what are some of the best ways to use these resources? Do you find it can be through tutoring, through classroom teaching? Could be both. Uh, anything is, like any? You asked me where my name comes from. Okay. This is called virtual learning educators. Vir visual, visual or virtual can be both. Any educator that's into gifts digital learning. This can be used in a classroom. This can be used hybrid. It can be used distance learning. So this is the, the evolution of the classroom. I've seen it. It's getting more gamified. It's getting more because kids love this. Kids are now one, almost like 90% in their devices. It's been getting more addictive. And my own son is 26. I saw a picture of him. He's got the 3D. He actually had the 3D goggles on. I'm like, oh my God. He was already, now he is in the computer. It was bad enough sitting. So we're kind of like matching them. And this past year, it like has gotten us to uh, force ourselves to think of out of the box ways. And if you talk to anyone that's in their twenties, they're going to go, oh, this is stuff we did in first grade. Mm -hmm. So this shows yeah. how far behind in technology we can be. True. True. So I, I actually have the kids build these with me too. They build the backgrounds with me. They, uh, they can do their own motion zoom backgrounds. They can, so I'm teaching them tech skills along with just not only teaching them, um, what's, you know, wh what they need. Um, another, like you said, the brain breaks, and this only works while you are in a, on a computer. And that's where we do most of our teaching anyway is yes. on a computer. And this is a uh, page not found. So something is going up. I have, I have to go click it, I think again, refresh it. And then you go into it and there they all are, the arcades. Wow. When those yeah. kids are like screaming, jumping, hopping, yelling, you can just throw them like you go like here, go into their free arcade and then boom, all the free, then you just scroll down and you can play them here and you just double, ah, I love this. Oh, I got to click the arrow there. I click so much that my, <laughs> my <laughs> mouse doesn't work. I have to change the computer about every two years because I'm on it like 12 hours a day. Wow. And then it, it Grammarly does more than catch errors. And really it gives Grammarly, people- a You can find really good. To, um, to have, like you said, have that break and have fun while having that break and recentering because like we said, so many students, I mean, even if it's, I mean, technology can be overwhelming <laughs> and is. online learning can be overwhelming, especially for students who really have difficulty focusing, having to sit in a chair or something like that. Like this, these games can reshift their mind and, and re just refocus everything. And um, that's wonderful. And that's, that is the main thing. And you have to understand Kids are really fast. They pick things up really fast. So to get through the, the class curriculum, it doesn't take them long. Or if you see that they're out of focus and they're jumping around, get them up, get them moving, do the Jurassic Park, Ice Age. These will all, these are like we. This is like we computer games. That's all I can explain it like. That's you are a great way to put it, yeah. And <laughs> as teachers, it's good exercise for us as well. Um, Another thing too, is that we go through is we have a lot of video training. I've done a lot of the videos. I answer questions. I, I tell people how to, how to make a lot of these, or if they don't want to make these, then <laughs> there's so many available anyway. Um, yeah. Then besides that, how to operate the visual libraries and how to, then there's our resources. Like you said, I connect. I don't, you don't have to pay for everything. If you want to pay, it's more organized. It's easier because like I've paid, I own most of the stuff that I've put up here. I do pay yearly. 
Um, Adventure Academy, I like it. It's for older kids. It has a curriculum ready to go. It's putting them in the classroom, uh, actually in the academy, like an avatar. Yeah. And you can control them from talking to others. Because I have all the guys, I'm a girl avatar. And they're like, let's talk to, and I'm like, no, no, no. We're not catfishing. No, because they think you're a girl and they're going to talk to you in the mm, academy mm. so you can actually um disenable the chat for that one younger kids this is also really great it's um puzzles games songs reading national geographic is in there so they they have a lot of great books that are are in there in their library but those are paid i can get you national geographic for free by epic Epic is down here somewhere. It's an Epic library. And I've also done reviews, fun brain. I have probably about 30 more sites to add here. So as I review them or I use them, I keep adding so that it makes your life's easier. I've been an ESL teacher for 25 years. So there's PBS, yeah. Starfall. So def definitely a lot of experience and, um, and wisdom to draw on for that. And to help create this and really impact all these these children and families and helping other educators to really grow their themselves as educators and that's that's fantastic brenda um so yeah. really like where do you see thank you so much for sharing this resource with us um where do you see vle rock in the next maybe year ahead or two years like what, what do you see what's your vision for it and and how it's going to impact with, with the way technology is going. And <laughs> I am actually taking a tech class. I continue to take it. I'm looking at making applications. Um, I've done website design before. I didn't make it all the way through. It's just really involved and too much repetition for me to type. Um, so I'm going to continue to evolve with everyone. I'm going to continue to grow it. I hope to get applications here. My husband's been telling me to do it too, to get your knowledge on an application. Uh, because right now I'm getting a lot of my knowledge on video and um, like I do, like everybody does, I do monthly training, master classes. Uh, this, this is just the services. Like everybody has their services. I've done a lot of consulting. I'm in a moderation and running Facebook groups. And like the last one was the Zoom's tips and tricks. And like we try to do, we had the immersion that was the last tool and it was so great. But the immersion classroom is, I can show it, but it would only be me in the classroom. But there's so many things that you can use as teachers. I love Zoom. Um, I think um, customizing and I just, I just keep adding. I can't even see where I am. And that's what I need you for, Michael, because you're going to give me a direction because my direction is like everywhere. <laughs> this is only, oh. this is only a, what, not even a year old, the website. And I have over a hundred videos on YouTube. Yeah, I know for sure. So it's really about, yeah, just like you said, just, uh, you know, continuing to build, build your knowledge, build that cutting edge and just, uh, yeah, figure out what's going to be the best way to reach, to reach students and reach families and reach educators to help them really optimize, you know, learning and, you know, in 2022 and beyond, you know. Right. And I think we always have to stay ahead. And it means okay. that even as educators, it doesn't mean we stop learning. We have to continue. We have to push beyond our limits. We have to, these kids are outsmart. I mean, I can't play Minecraft. I can't play Roblox. I can't do it. I, we, we built a, a land and the ground was on the top and I was on the bottom and the kids don't want to show you. They're just laughing at you. He, yeah. he, sat, he laughed at me and I'm like, that's not fair. And then we played a game together and I didn't even know how to shoot anyone or drive the car. So yeah. I hear you. I, I, I feel you. I, I was on the bottom too. I'm like, help, what do I do with this? And my, and my, and my student was like, yeah, I, I don't know. You have to figure it out. Exactly. Like, like, they won't what? teach us and they're laughing at us. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, eventually my student was like, yeah, here's what you do, Michael. You do this, then do this, then do this. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so you're still in the classrooms too, right? Oh, so yeah, I still do some uh, some private tutoring and consulting as well, um, which has been it's hard wonderful. to get out of the classroom. I, oh, it's just, it, I did. Um, I the students. We have a, a marketing and finance company. I tried to do that with my husband for two years. I couldn't. I was just like you're speaking a foreign language to me and I need to get back in the class because it's a passion and a passion makes it feel like not work. And I think that's why we push ourselves so far because it's something that like when I'm creating digital art, I feel like I'm painting. 
Yeah. Well, I love what you were sharing. You had the, uh, some student art you were sharing last week with me, just some of this, it was, it was a Halloween themed uh, piece and yeah. just, you were just like, just so vibrant when describing it and so happy and so much joyful seeing what the student had created, you know, with under your tutelage that they were working together with you on. And, you know, that, that's what it is really. It's that joy you get from helping students succeed. And it's, you know, whatever we can do to help as educators and work collaboratively is great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's one. Yeah, Alina. There's another. Uh, I I <laughs> I love it moving, just like the kids. Um, I kind sometimes I feel like I'm Walt Disney because I have to create now and layer all these backgrounds and these effects and move it from one side to the other. Um, I've actually created spinners. I solve the problem on. Um, on Google Slides because Google Slides, we couldn't have spinners. And I figured yeah. out how to animate them. And I was like, yeah, it's the only product that sells on Teachers Pay Teachers for me because I have, I'm, I think I'm the only one that actually has editable animated spinners. And that's because I had to animate it all myself. That's amazing. Yeah, that is that is hard. Yeah, definitely. That's a roadblock like um, to have that. So that's great that you were able to create that oh, on Google Slides, you said. I can replicate. I, this is a business That's card. Cool. I think I showed you before. Yes, they have one. Yes. There's an app, but it was like light and there's no color. And I'm like, no, I don't like that. I'll just make it myself. Oh, absolutely. Well, exactly. And if, if that's, if, and that's like, if you look how colorful and vibrant that is, and it really, it, it creates that calm atmosphere. Oh, really? I, I didn't know. I, that's one thing I'm not though. It should calm me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the cherry blossoms give calm. They really do. But no, it's Brenda, but definitely your passion definitely shows with wanting to help and make this difference. And uh, if other educators want to re uh, reach out to you, either through your Facebook group or your website, like what would be the best links that we could put up for you? Above the live, I put all the links. Oh, I just, I, yeah, I had yeah. time to go through it all. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have to, I can just copy paste it after, but all the links, I like that because it said, do a description. I'm like, hmm, okay, let's see website, YouTube channel, LinkedIn, <laughs> Insta, Instagram. I'm not even, I trying is trying to keep mm -hmm. up with all this SEO is hysterical. Uh, I don't even know how. And yeah. Facebook connected my personal page with my Insta page. And I'm like, it's not working that that's not good because right. you don't want your private and your businesses together. But then when you try to use your Canva, it's like, wait a second. No, that's the wrong Facebook or that's the wrong Insta. Absolutely. Yeah, no, for sure. And that's, and that's where, yeah, like an SEO expert is so amazing for that. Or, you know, where do you find I love the, Well, I, I know Natalia is pretty good with SEO. Oh my God. Yeah. Natalia. Oh my She's God. She's a rock star. She's great She's with that. She's a rock star. I like, yeah, I keep telling everybody about her too. I'm like, yeah. You want, you and, want a website and, in eight minutes? No, 11 minutes, 11, 11 minutes. minutes yeah. And they're like, what? And I'm like, just visit Natalia. She's amazing. Yeah. So for those who are listening or watching Natalia Kubik of two to me, Aces, amazing. But uh, Brenda, it was so wonderful to have you today on, um, on our live. And um, if any of our members have any questions for Brenda, please post down below or go to her links as well to get your resources. And uh, let's There's continue. my links. Oh, there we go. They're all right there. <laughs> VLERock.com, Brenda at VLERock.com yeah. for email and YouTube is there as well. Of course, you're seeing this as well, so I don't have to repeat, necessarily repeat it in audio. <laughs> <laughs> I can make you one, Michael. Do you want a cherry tree? Sure, sure. Well, cherry you, tree. Just, just tell me what you like. I'll do a business card. Okay, we'll do. Well, thank you so much, Brenda. It was great having you here. And everybody, make it a great Friday. Be well, and talk to you soon. Bye for okay. now. Bye. Have a great Bye. day. Bye. Bye.